Hey guys, it's Raphael, amigos, Rafael. Here we have the uh, Hulk Premium Format exclusive figure. Uh, this is the one that comes with the uh, shirt. Este es el que viene con la camisa naranjada, which is nicely packed in here for my client, which he will not be using. Uh, uh, este es el exclusivo, viene con la camisa, pero se la quitamos. Uh, now, very quickly, um, I did do a green one, which I did not show the process on uh, shading him up a bit more, um, uh, and I did not record that. So, you know, I was asked why I didn't do that, so I'm going to show the process here. Very simple. Uh, you don't have to go major stuff, just do a little extra shading, especially on the back. Now, this one uh, doesn't have much shading in the back. Maybe they, they figure why go through the hassle when he's covered with a shirt. But even the green one uh, that didn't come with a shirt did not have enough shading in the back. Um, so, you know, I, we'll, we'll do, we'll do uh, you know, uh, that process on this guy, which is the same process I did on the green one. Uh, voy a hacer el mismo proceso que hice en el verde. Uh, este no tiene tanta oh, así, definición de, de sombras en, en la espada, tal vez porque tenía la, la camisa, pero a, a, el verde que llegué a hacer, que no hice el video, perdón, aún así no tenía lo suficiente tampoco. Uh, así que el mismo proceso que usé en el verde va a ser el mismo proceso aquí en el, en el gris. Uh, nada más como un, you know, este, para que vean cómo, cómo se hace. Uh, again, so very quickly, uh, this isn't bad at all. I mean, it's, uh, the shading on these areas here are very nice. So really there's not much to do in these areas here. Uh, realmente las sombras en estas áreas están muy bien. Um, y no es necesario tocarlas tanto. Uh, pero aquí vamos a hacer algo mejor. Y un poquito en el pecho también. And you know, on the other side of the chest we'll, we'll do that. But all this other stuff looks looks pretty good. Uh, also, um, what I'm going to do, this one is not bad. When you put the head here, there really is no gap at all on the side uh, very 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 tiny gap cuando pone uno la cabeza aquí no hay este está muy bien cerrado aquí muy poquito abierto pero no tanto the green one uh, actually had a bigger gap when you when you uh, put the head on so what i'm going to do is even though this doesn't have much of a gap i'm going to show you what i did or what you can do if you have a big gap when you put this guy on uh, si tienen un uh, que está muy abierto aquí, uh, voy a demostrar cómo pueden hacerle para que uh, se cierre más esta área. Este no está tan mal, pero el verde que llegué a tener estaba muy abierto, a ver, estaba un tanto así. I mean, the, the green one had a gap like that, you know, more or less. It was pretty bad. Uh, so I'm going to just show that process how I would do that, so you can learn if you want to close the gap on any statue. Um, so, you know, quickly let's get the shading going. Now, as you can see, they did use, como pueden ver, uh, kind of like a purplish uh, shading with some, and black, or, gr or dark gray. You know, usaron uh, negro, o, o un gris muy oscuro, o morado, o violeta. Alright, so that's what I'm actually just going to use as well. Uh, lo que voy a usar también. So I, I'm just using golden airbrush deep violet. Voy a usar este color, straight from the bottle. And uh, also, what I did is I, I didn't show, but I, I cleaned this up with 99% uh, alcohol. I rubbed it very, very lightly and, and dried it immediately. You don't want it to stay under too much. You don't want to risk the paint coming off. Utilicé 99% de alcohol para limpiarlo y lo sequé rápidamente para que no se le vaya a quitar la pintura cuando lo dejen demasiado ahí. So, uh, let's start doing some shading. Vamos a empezar. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the uh, black uh, or, or the, uh, the dark shading. Uh, before I do that, uh, you know, to make play it safe, uh, antes de empezar con lo, 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 lo negro, vamos a sellarlo. We're going to seal it 
I mean, you don't have to, you know. I mean, I don't have to now because I, I, I'm, a, you know, I, I got the hang of it now. But I'm going to do it just so you can see. No es necesario sellarlo si ya tienen la experiencia. Pero vamos a hacerlo todas maneras. This will help if you mess up, you wipe it off, and you don't ruin the first layer of the, of the uh, shading that you did. Esto lo protege en caso de que se equivoquen, lo quitan rápidamente y no, no este, afecta lo primero que hicieron. And again, I'm using this guy. This is lo que uso. Now for shading, para la sombra negra, you know, for the dark one, you can either use, I use, uh, you can use a transparent shading gray, un negro transparente, which helps a lot because since it's transparent, ayuda mucho porque es transparente, you, 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 no matter how much you spray it, it'll go on lightly. And if you want it dark, you just keep adding more. Uh, usando este, este es, empieza muy liviano, entonces pueden esprayar poco a poco más y más hasta que agarren la oscuridad que ustedes quieran. If you're good with the airbrush, you can use, go ahead and use black. Uh, si quieren hacerlo, pueden usar nada más negro. Uh, it takes more practice because if you put too much, it's going to be black as opposed to a nice shading. Uh, la diferencia de esto es que como no es transparente, si le echan de más, se puede poner muy negro de repente. But what I'm going to do is use first the, uh, the transparent so you can see what I'm talking about. And then I'll use the black one so you can also see the difference. We'll usar los dos para que vean la diferencia. Okay, this is the uh, transparent black or, or gray shading. Este es el transparente negro o el gris. And I'm just going over the purple area. Lo estoy, lo estoy poniendo sobre lo morado que ya hice. No para tapar lo morado, pero para darle otro, otro, otra vista. So as you can see, you don't really see it. Casi no se ve cuando lo estoy sprayando. But the more I do it, the darker it will get. Pero lo más, entre más lo hago, más oscuro se pone. So you really can't go wrong with a transparent. Okay, now I'm not done yet, but that's just so you can see. Now I'm going in and use the black color. This is not transparent, so this is where you need to be careful. Again, just use this transparent if you're not sure. Uh, if you're good at and, and, uh, you know, controlling the airbrush, go ahead and use the black. Uh, este es ya el color negro. Uh, de nuevo, si tienen un poco de experiencia con el, air, uh, con el aerografo, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, I don't know. El airbrush... Pueden usar lo negro, es de controlar la pintura. Pero si no, usen el transparente para que no, no van a, a equivocarse. So, this is pure black. So, you just go lightly. And it shades it quicker, but you want to be careful. Y yo prefiero usar este. I prefer to use this one because it gives you the what you want and quicker. Now, if you notice, uh, certain areas of the gray is darker than here. En unas áreas está más oscuro, el lo gris, que en estas áreas. Like, these areas are pretty white. So, what you can do is just get the same black. Lo que pueden hacer, ya que está en ciertas áreas más claro que en estas áreas, is just get the black and give it a mist. Y un poquito así, para que bajarle un poquito a lo, a lo claro and again once you know you have what you like you go in and seal it plus this also you know enhances the colors también you know resalta más los colores cuando lo sellan ok now for for the gap de nuevo you know no es una abiertura demasiado está muy bien now this isn't a bad gap at all, really. Uh, but you know, just so you know, in case you have a bad one, how I would fix this. Como arreglarla por si tienen una peor que esta. You can put a cellophane, like plastic wrap, in here and wrap it around. 
pueden usar el plastiquito ese bien delgado como para los sándwiches aquí y se, se, se le pone todo hacia acá y la pasta se le pone aquí y se le apachurra then you just put the epoxy putty here and push it down and that will the, 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 the uh, plastic would avoid it for, to sticky but I tried it one time and I decided to try the um, rubber cement Utilicé este cemento de, de, de hule, no sé cómo se diga ahí en, en español. Uh, and, and it works pretty good. You get a better seal. Y resulta mejor porque agarras una mejor, este, mejor sello. So what I do, y se lo pongo por todos lados aquí. A little bit on the uh, outer side too. And once that is dry, ya cuando se seca eso, I still go in, just in case, por las dudas, I add Vaseline. And I think you could use, you know, latex rubber and just brush it on if you like, very thin. And what I use, y lo que uso is the uh, epoxy sculpt, equal amounts. Eso es lo que uso, partes iguales. Ok, ya que tengo el putty aquí, okay. now that I have the putty here, you want to push it in. Quiero empachurrarlo. Alright. Smoothing it out. Y lo desvanecen hacia arriba. And with a wet brush, y con un cepillo, una brocha mojada y smooth it upward now once it's smooth ya que lo tienen you know este uh, desvanecido certain areas you may want to create a little bit of wrinkles pueden uh, crear un poquito de, de arrugas And smooth them out. Y les van a hacerlas un poquito. So, we'll let that dry and pop it out. Uh, ya cuando se seque, para mañana, la quitamos. Now, one thing, I've done it before. So it's not easy. It really grabs on there very good. Uh, so you have to get something, and I'll show this, and kind of cover his head and hit it with a hammer. Uh, si se pega muy bien, uh, sí que tienen que ponerle algo de protector y darle en la madre con un martillo. So, until tomorrow, guys, we'll get this going. Right, so this is nice and hard now. Ya se secó muy bien la la pasta esa. And let's take it off. Now let's see what happens. Now see, it's very hard. Está muy difícil sacarlo con la mano. You need to cover the head. I don't have a hammer. No tengo un martillo. And loosen it up. I know it's risky. But it works. There we go. And all you do is clean this up. Y ahora nada más se limpia. Since it's like rubber, you just take it off. go no gap yeah no hay. nice and flush so I'll be cleaning all this up and then painting the rest of the uh, head here okay guys so here you have them I guess the is the I didn't touch the head or, or the face because the client did not want that touched so it's the original paint job on there I no, no pinté la, la cara porque no quiso el cliente so uh, but there it is Okay, guys. Till next time. Hasta la próxima.